Hello, I am in Christ. I have become a new man. My past is gone. My new life in Christ has begun. And the new me is being unveiled through the knowledge of my Creator. This is the new man commission with the mandate of revealing Jesus to the world, demonstrating his love to the people. Welcome. The direction that the Holy Ghost is leading us for the year was made known as we began to examine the subject of power or empowerment for dominion. Because the opposition has only respect for power, not for oration, not for decoration, not for appearance, not for size, not for status. One of us just share the testimony now how that uh, somebody comes in or a force comes in at 1 a.m. of every night to subject him to torture and to torment. And then a few friends with him were there praying and even in the midst of the prayer they still came. Because Opposition has no respect for number. It has no respect for title. Opposition only has respect for power. That's why I know that this month, God is going to give you a unique encounter with his power. Because he that asketh receiveth, according to Matthew 7, 7. He that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh, the door shall be opened. Now if you truly desire a higher dimension of empowerment, and you truly seek for it, and you are committed to knocking for it, God is going to take you to a higher dimension of experience with his power this month. Even Jesus could not fulfill his mission until he was empowered. And he had three separate encounters with power. The first one at Jordan when he was being baptized. And the Bible said that Jesus himself being baptized and praying the heavens opened. And the Holy Ghost descended upon him in form of a dove. And a voice from heaven came. This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. He had an experience. Now in Luke 4.14, he had another experience. He returned in the power of the spirit into Galilee. And his fame spread all abroad. He returned in the power. After a 40 day of praying and fasting, he returned in the power of the spirit. And in chapter 9, he was praying and he was transfigured. And the Bible said, when he descended, the people saw the mighty power of God. Come and say, mighty power. mighty power. I mean, so many stopped at Jordan. That's why they couldn't cross over. Because in the swelling of Jordan, baptism is not enough. Now, you see what I'm talking about. There are, there are levels of empowerment. So don't let the tongues you speak confuse you. There are levels of empowerment. There are levels of what? Empowerment. So you must desire to go to another level this month. Can I hear your amen if you are there? <laughs> One of our daughters could not sleep. He was... I mean, she's a, a, a nurse, a medical person herself, the husband, a medical doctor. Every dosage of Valium couldn't help. So I said, okay, bring, him to, bring her to my house. They brought her to the house, and I showed her, this is where you are sleeping. And she went and slept. <laughs> Amen. We forgot that she was there. There was no prayer. Just come to this place. Bring her here. You sleep here. God bless you. And he slept off. Amen. 
when that power comes the dimension you need for dominion even the environment is saturated with it I mean your coat and hats and dresses are very fantastic but that that is not a factor for dominion there's nothing wrong with your headgear there's nothing wrong with your suit there's nothing wrong with your hat and your coat if this church stop we are in a coat many coat businesses will collapse <laughs> you see but that's not a factor that's not a factor for dominion how many want to really walk in dominion this year how many now grace to accept the responsibility that makes it possible receive it now in jesus name It's very important for us to know that the original source of power we need to be able to identify the original source of power. And when we come to that knowledge, it becomes easy for us to know where to find power. Where to find power. Now, beginning from the story of creation, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, and then suddenly the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the deep. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. God said, and the Bible said, God said, God said, God said. And in the last verse, and God saw everything. Now, in basic science, it is said that power is the ability to perform. So if anything came out of what God said, then what God said must be loaded with power enough to bring it to pass. So God's power is embedded in God's word. What the Holy Ghost does is to empower your asses. He empowers your asses into what God has said. So you can tap into the power of God that will bring it to pass. So the word of God is the original source of power in the beginning. The power of God manifested himself in his world. And it's the same yesterday, today, and forever. I am the Lord, I change not. I don't care how many prayer warriors there are. Until you find word discoverers, you have not found power. The original source of power is the word of God. That's where the first power was manifested. And God said, and God said, I like to read that. Genesis chapter 1 is the easiest book to open. It's the first book of the Bible. Now, now listen. And God said, now, the Spirit of God was moving. Verse 2, he moved upon the face of the waters. Now you see, the waters here is the word of God. Amen. That thou mightest cleanse her by the washing of water by the word of God. So what the Holy Ghost does is to brood on the word of God to help you assess which one applies to your circumstances 
so you can dominate it. Ooh. Is someone there? <laughs> there is no power in speaking in tongues. That's why people are speaking in tongues and see how fever. Fever is still in them. The power is in the access into the original source of power. Hey, somebody's religion is being tampered with this morning. It's possible to be speaking in tongues. And if you ask that my son who gave that testimony, some of the night he spoke in tongues to bed. And, and Satan said, just keep speaking, you will soon be tired. I'm coming. At one o'clock, prompt. <laughs> one o'clock, prompt. I'm here. I, I have no respect for tongues. I have respect for power. You don't have what it takes to stop me. I'm coming. The Spirit of God was moving upon the waters. So what the Holy Ghost does is to brood upon the Word of God to provide you access to which one applies to your embarrassing situations so you can be in control of it. Hello. That's how he empowers people. He empowers our access into the word of God, which is the only way we tap into the power of God for supernatural manifestations. The original source of power. <laughs> That's what it is. Now, now, in defining that function, he said, in John 16 verse 11, I have many things to say to you, but you can't bear them now. How be it? I'm sending you a helper. His name is the Holy Ghost. And when it's come, he will guide you into all truth. What is truth? Sanctify them by thy word. Thy word is truth. He will guide you into the word of God. For he shall not speak of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. So what the Holy Ghost does is to guide us into the truth that will bring us the, our, our desired triumph. He guides us into the truth to bring us into our desired triumph. Ah, I pity Christians who don't have the appropriate value for the word of God. I pity preachers who think that God's word is for professional preaching. He guides us into the truth that brings us into our desired triumph. That's what he does. And the Spirit of God was moving upon the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Now look at it. And verse 6. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. And let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. Verse 9, and God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering of, together of the waters called his seas, and God saw that it was good. God saw everything God said, God saw because there was power in what he said. And there is still power in what he says today. That book is not a story book. It's a power book. That book called the Bible is not a story book. It's a power book. You can't have the new access into that book and not command practical dominion in your work. You remember when this building was under construction? And uh, two months to dedication, we were still roofing. What a dedication. I stood there in an all-night prayer, and, you know, I was drenched with rain. And I was away in Kano for a meeting. 
And I saw in this book by the brooding of the Holy Spirit. Six days God finished the creation of the heavens and the earth. And he said, I am the Lord I change now. Will God need two months to finish one single funny building? Forget it. Two months, too much. September 18 is a reality. Now see, that power coming from inside enabled by the Holy Spirit. Is somebody hearing what I'm talking about? I'm not talking about quoting what Paul said. I'm talking about speaking what you have found. You know they said, in the name of Jesus whom Paul preaches, come out. He said, no way. We respect people for the things they carry by themselves. You don't carry. We are, he said, I, Jesus I know, Paul I know, I don't know you. You don't carry what you are trying to use. Just like you need your personal breath, you need your personal insight. No matter who is committed to helping you without your eyesight, you can't see, you, you, can't, you can't comprehend the happenings around you. Even though you and your wife are one flesh, if you are blind, you can't see what your wife is saying. So being able to see is not a function of I'm the head of this house. Have you seen what you should see? If a man is blind and the wife can see, now who is the head? Now who will lead? Now I don't know how you feel about it, but that's the truth. Amen. So all, you need to get to a point where you allow the Holy Spirit to help you to see what God is saying. That is the realm of real power. Come and say real power. And God said, and God said, and everything God said, and the Bible said in verse 31, and God saw everything. So there is every power in every word of God to deliver every man's desire. Did you hear what I'm saying? There is every power. So don't tell me, if not for the witches that are against me, this thing will have happened now. Mm. There is every power. They want to arrest witches, arrest Oboni people, arrest uh, hooligans, arrest robbers. There is every power. I've told you before, I cannot imagine any robber, even if you are number two principal to the devil, who will say to me, lift your hand. I can't. Which mouth will he use? Can't imagine it. I can't imagine, no, no matter how spiritually blind he is, when I appear with the things I'm wearing, he must get out. When, when, if I sight him, he's dead. You, you understand what I'm talking about? Now, that is not what are you talking about. Ask them. When you see them, ask them. Now see, one of my sons, a Liberian, was coming to my bad day so many years ago, 1996. And some robbers accosted him and put gun in his tummy. So where are you going? He said, I'm going for Papa's bad day. Ah, sorry, oh, please go on. Robbers, robbers. In Gawan Estate there. Robbers. Please go on. Didn't you hear Robert said, anytime you see a car with this winner sticker, leave it. Don't touch it. Because they are dangerous people. Don't touch it. If I say four down in seven days, you are down. There is no negotiation. If I say four, whosoever has this four down in seven days. We are talking about, we are not talking, you know how many witches are in Ota? Where are they now? Where are they now? Now you see, after this month, you'll be embarrassment free the remaining days of your life. The 
original source of power. He said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. If they can assess what is required, they will command dominion without negotiation. If they can assess what I am saying concerning this situation, they will command dominion without negotiation. Paul said, and this is very anchor to what we're talking about, in chapter 1 of Romans and verse 16, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. So it is your faith in the word of God that converts it into the power of God for supernatural performance. When you believe the gospel, it is converted into power. When you believe the gospel, it is converted into power. A woman had been oppressed for years. She's here in church. And every effort won't just deliver. So he took the book, The Healing Balm. And as he was reading The Healing Balm under the tent in the old church, a live spider, whatever, came out of his ears. And the affliction ceased on the spot. She found something from God's word being analyzed in that book and as she believed it she tapped into power and the stranger had no choice but find his way out I read the story in 1983 in the magazine called New Wine Magazine now it's a Christian magazine a woman was crippled and on a wheelchair and he was reading a book titled Face Up with a Miracle by Bob Mumford. And as she was reading that book, she was in the laundry. She didn't know where she stood up. And she only looked and discovered that the chair was not where she was. And that was it. God's word was converted to power, which brought about a supernatural performance. I'd like you to understand this. It's very important, it's very crucial. It is not falling down that empowers people. It's not falling down. It's not falling down that empowers people. If it empowers people, why do you fall down with sickness and rise up with sickness? It's not power. It's religious display. It is religious acrobatics. It's not power. <laughs> Believe me, that was where the American church began to die. Many churches had handkerchiefs, or what do they call it? Scarves or swords that they carry in their hand when you want to pray for people. Can you imagine if you were falling down and there was laying hands on you? How many are we going to lay hands on? Anyway, since you will have carried you straight <laughs> to the guard room. That's not the thing. Some people will say, now, as I lay hands on you, everybody, because the power is here, God told me all of you will fall down. He is already falling them down. That's not where the power is. Those are all charismatic shows. I'm, I'm pointing you to the true source of power to which I have had amazing, I have amazing experiences with the power. I'm not, I'm not talking stories to you. I'm not talking stories to you. A man had his two kidneys packed up and was on dialysis and he was finished. He was looking finished. His trouser could not hold properly again around his waist. Himself a medical doctor. I saw him compassion grieve me and I know, I know in my knowing that an encounter with the anointed transfers the unction to bring about the supernatural. And I know that I know that there was a time Elisha died and a dead man was mistakenly cast into his sepulchre when they saw the enemy coming. And as the dead body tore the dry bones of Elisha, he came back to life. I took this man 
in my old office there in Faith Academy and heard them and I said, Jesus, do it again. And left them. They took it and they picked up. I'm not talking about, it didn't fall down. But he had two brand new kidneys came alive. What am I talking about? Get ready to connect with the true source of power. It is the depth of insight you have that determines the level of dominion you will command. Because he upholds all things by the word of his power. How many things? He upholds all things by the word of his power. All things. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3. He upholds all things are in the control of his power. Chapter 10. Listen now. You get it very clearly now. You see that the original source of power is the word of God. Peter was preaching in the house of Cornelius. And the Bible said, The Holy Ghost fell on all them that had the word. Where did the Holy Ghost come from? From the word. He was speaking. And the Holy Ghost, <laughs> the personality of the power of God fell on them, coming out from the word that Peter was speaking. You will understand it better now. Now, no scripture is of any private interpretation. Holy men speak as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So the word of God is by the movement of the Holy Ghost. It is the power of God that summed it up. <laughs> Did you get what I'm saying? It's the power of God that summed it up. Now, Isaiah 34 and verse 16. Identifying the source, the source of true power. Now, Isaiah 34 and verse 16. Say with me, this book is not a story book. It is a power book. The carrier of the power of God. Isaiah 34, now let's read Isaiah 34 and verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. None of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. For my mouth it has commanded, and my spirit it has gathered them. Isaiah 34 and verse 16. God's word is gathered by the Spirit of God. So God's word therefore remains the original source of power. So when you make an Holy Ghost inspired discovery in the book I'm not talking about intellectual discovery. I'm talking about an Holy Ghost inspired discovery. You are supernaturally empowered to deliver. When you make a Holy Ghost inspired discovery from the word of God, you are supernaturally empowered to deliver. God's word remains eternally the original source of power. The original source of power. And what it does, therefore, principally, if you look at the ministry of the Holy Spirit, and I will give you that in a brief moment. Now, in John 14, verse 26, and when he, the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, shall come unto you, he shall teach you all things. And he shall bring to your remembrance all things whatsoever you have heard of me. Now look at it. Let's divide the subject now. He shall teach you all things that you have heard of me and shall remind you all things that you have heard of me. There is a source of the thing he will teach us. The things that God has said. So the Holy Spirit is given principally to provide us supernatural access. 
into the truth. God bless you. Stay blessed. For more of our resources, follow us on our social media handles.